It's banless thought time with yours truly. So, we haven't gotten a ban list yet, which means I get to farm free content and talk about the dumb things I am reading out here from everybody. So, communities come to a general consensus that we should expect a ban list around Monday. It's the next scheduled database update for Konami, uh, at least for the Yu-Gi-Oh! database. So, if trends are pointing to be true, based on research and things I've seen people put together, it should be next Monday. So, if you guys don't get one this weekend, don't worry. Let's dig on into a little discussion, shall we? Now, I don't really have time to edit this because I've been pulling orders all night, so bear with me here. So, I've been reading Banless predictions and, uh, oh, my mother's brother, sister's dad, cousin works at Konami Post. Now, the first thing I want to talk about here is Masterpiece. Now, what in the actual... Yeah, who actually thinks that this card's coming back? So my friend messaged me today, he's like, yeah. So I've been reading a couple things about Masterpiece coming back. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. And everybody else is like, well, actually, based on Konami's current standards, we could actually see this card coming back because Dragoon of the Red exists, and they're basically the same card. All right. If Masterpiece is banned in the OCG... All right, now, now listen here. This card is banned in the OCG. And what makes you think of the TCG is going to go, oh, that's a really good idea. Let's unban it. All right? It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. All right? Like, I do not foresee Masterpiece getting unbanned this list. And to the guy that's like, actually, Masterpiece is coming back. The card's so good. Like, no. Stop. All right? I, I don't care who you're trying to troll on the internet. It, shit's not happening. All right? So, I had that off my chest. Now... Everybody seems to have forgotten about my boy as a thought. It's really great when you can just kind of see all this Orcust hate and all this new pirate archetype stuff coming out. Everybody forgets that as a thought is still here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Now, every post that I've seen agrees that buy horn drones, buy Babel. All right, like you guys, you're going. All right, like now. I've been told in my comments section that I'm an uneducated mongrel and that I don't understand how this game works because by banning Engage, by forcing the deck to have a committed normal summon now, and basically leaving Engage at 3, I am not allowing the metagame to grow because I'm allowing Striker to remain a viable deck. Alright, now look here guys. Hornet Drones to 0 fucking sucks. All right. Now, at this point, everybody else is like, Ugh, I want Striker gone. This is why you don't work in R&D. All right. Now, I'm not going to toot my own horn or anything. But, okay. So, if we leave Engage at three. Now, the best things that you can tutor for in the True Draco variant are literally Widow Anchor. And, wait a minute here. Widow Anchor. Shark Cannon. Afterburners. Jamming Waves. That's your toolbox now. I don't really care if you're searching for a defensive Widow Anchor, alright? Like, I'm cool with that. Now, to everybody that just wants to put Engage to two, you guys don't want to see this deck anymore at the competitive tables. You guys are like, oh, I'm sick of seeing this. It's beating my Dark Magician deck every week at Locals. It's beating me. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Make it go away. Alright, now, nah, stop that. Alright, you guys have to understand that the way that Konami's been structuring these last couple ban lists, they're not trying to obliterate the testicles off of this deck, all right? Like, they're trying to leave room for growth because they want players to... There's nothing else good coming out, all right? Like, the general consensus that I'm seeing from the community right now that's like, oh, get rid of Striker! Get rid of it! They don't understand that, like, if you look at the competitive spectrum for the next three months, besides the Master Rule change, we don't get anything good. Well, Robbie, actually, what about that Orcus card? Mm. Eh, Orcist. We'll talk about that later. So, right now, all of this hate that is being dedicated towards Striker, if we are currently following trends that we've been following for the most part here, I think they're going to leave Engage at 3. Like, we've already blown off the rest of the testicles off the deck, and we literally want this deck to remain at the dinner table. We're not trying to take it away. Alright? You know, I've also heard the we could ban engage in or put it at one and then we could leave hornet drones alone and then that takes care of the problem 
These are the same people that don't realize that the Splash Hornet drones, a Auto Link 2, by the way, to recur back your Hornet drones, Hornet is the problem. All right, now, so now that we've got this established, buy Hornet drones, buy Babel, like, we can just get rid of Babel. Now, back on the, uh, the conspiracy theories out here. So, my dad's uncle's brother's sister, who's fucking somebody that once worked at Konami, told me that we will be seeing, that's right, Galtea to one. Now, I've heard, I've heard some interesting things here. I've heard people go, all right, cool, so we can put Galtea to two. We can put Harpoor to one. I personally like the ban World of Wand. Um, I know it doesn't do a lot to the deck, but like, it stops you from cheesing even further into the combo. Um, and it also depends on what is their design right now. Like, the thing that players are complaining about about the deck is the fact that, well, Babel playing through the interruption on the opponent's turn is the issue here. I haven't heard anybody really complain about Crescendo, actually. It's actually the funny part. Like, Crescendo's bonkers, but, like, it's one negate. Like, it's pretty good. I also, now this one was interesting. I heard somebody talk about that we could just ban Simple Skeleton. <laughs> Technically, if you ban Simple Skeleton, I mean, you can't make the Dingrisu play during your opponent's turn anymore. Technically, like, that's... That's like, we got the shotgun straight to the face, and we're like, oh, can't miss at this range. Pfft. Problem literally solved. Like, yeah, um, I could see that. Like, once again, like, we come back to the same question here. How bad do we try to, you know, fuck this shit up, man? Like, you have to ask yourself this question. It's like, at this point in time, like, how bad do we want to mess this up? Every casual intermediate player is like, yeah, blow Sky Striker up, yeah. But, like, you guys are going to be complaining about Solid and Thunder then, right? Like, Sky Striker is, seems like it's become this necessary evil in this format. Now, the splash of the engine is ridiculous. I get it, man. Like, I think that's some BS, too. But at the end of the day, it's all just coming back around in circles here. So, as a thought, banned. All right, cool. We're just taking care of that right now. If they don't ban... Uh, it's funny to me, because, like... The community, like, was all like, rah, get rid of Azathoth. And then everything happened. And then we were just like, we forgot about Azathoth. We clearly know that the two problems are Hornet Drones and Babel, but it's like, hmm. So those three, gone, all right? Makes a pretty good format. Uh, we're probably going to shoot something else off of Orcus, because uh, probably Harp's going to one. I mean, I know it doesn't do a lot, but, like, consistency is a thing. Like, that or, I don't know, we'll have to see. Now, I always bring up the point of, are we going to hit the needle fiber targets now or later? We'll have to wait and see. I don't really care all that much about this. Um, coming out of this set, though, Lightning Storm's going to be annoying. Yeah, cool, that's fine. If they're nice and they give us back more, uh, they actually give us back spiral cards on this list. I'm going to party. All right, like, if you expect to watch Robbie sit here and fucking party for 10 minutes in a video, oh, it probably will happen, actually. Like, it'd be great. Now, I'm fine with Hornet Drones staying at 1 and 3 engage. I mean, like, oh, yeah, that reminds me. I also heard somebody be like, how many people would be butt mad if they just release this next list and they're like, no changes. All right, everybody. How mad do you think the community would be? Like, they'd be like, oh, another 16 months of shitty orcast, yeah? I, I could see that. There there will be literally rabble, rabble, rabble in the streets that actually happens. Now, that being said, though, I don't think it's actually going to happen. I think we're going to get a nice... It might actually be a big list. We'll have to wait and see. But all signs are pointing towards next Monday based on data, based on basically the update on the database. But, you know, never follow trends in this game because they usually end up biting us in the butt. And, you know, what do we end up knowing? So... My floor goes out to you guys. I'm trying to be a little bit better about replying to the comment sections of these, even if it's like a day or so later. I, I, I do read everything. I, I do say that. But what do you guys think is going to happen? What what do you, the duelist, the the one that watches Farfa, the one that supports Team Sam, the the Yugi Tooper out there that watches this game? Don't comment like, give you the problem! It's, it's going to be like 50-50, all right? Like, there are multiple reasons 
for what they're going to hit on this list, whether or not it be the consistency factor or if they just want to stop the outright advantage. I don't work in R&D, nor do I ever plan to, but you know what? Every card action, every story has two sides of the story. Man, that's a life lesson for the day. Every book has a front and a back, just like your wife. Wait a minute. People are people? Alright, that's all I got for this video, guys. Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I needed to rant on about a ban list because it's one of those days. Later, guys. Stay safe. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.